Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to take a look at a new command in Inventor 2020, the Unwrap command. So the Unwrap command is new in Inventor 2020. It's designed to help you flatten out complex shapes that wouldn't be able to be flattened in a sheet metal environment. And actually, I was somewhat surprised to find out that it is actually a standard modeling feature and not a sheet metal feature. Just to kind of look through what I have here, this is a part that I dealt with a couple years back that wouldn't flatten out because of the complex shape here. Um, and what I've modeled up, just to, for you to see, is I've got this shape here using standard sheet metal features. I added a regular sweep in there to add that feature and then I realized I needed to have a couple holes. So this is kind of a kind of a rebuild of something that I did years ago for a customer or the, an issue they had. And what I'll do here to show you how the, the unwrap command works is I'll have to jump over the 3D model space. I can hit unwrap and once faces, so I'll just kind of just pick the part there and it usually figures everything out. You can see it's kind of flattening out and it's looking pretty good there. It doesn't always line up there at the end. If you want to kind of assign some sort of linear result saying, well, this edge has to stay linear, you can do that. Sometimes it really improves it. Sometimes it hasn't really done much for me. I'll kind of just, uh, I'll just kind of clear that one because it looked like it was in good shape previously. So I say, okay, and what does, what ends up happening? Well, what the, the software does is it ends up creating a surface feature or a surface body that is what it would see as that thing being unwrapped. So I have that there. Now, if I kind of look at my view master, what it does for me automatically is it creates this unwrapped, isolated view wrap that is just that surface and the rest of the model is turned off. So if I kind of go back to my my master here and we are able to document these so if I save this and start a 2d drawing I can create a base view I can use that unwrap isolated I'll do we'll have to make sure that I turn on my include surface bodies I bring this in here I can scale it up a little bit one thing I've found is it's never perfectly square. It's not a huge deal. I can very easily do a rotate on my view. Go that way. There we go. And there is the unwrap. And there is, I could, I could document this if I wanted to then. All right, so one other thing I'll show you here is it works with some really complex components. So this is one that I just downloaded. It's like a trailer hitch. I kind of got rid of a couple other components in here, but it would work on something like this. If I unwrapped, I select this, and this will give me the opportunity to show you, they have what they refer to as a heat map here showing me where specific regions that are going to be, I guess maybe we can say less confidence or under a high strain if it, this was actually one piece of material that we then you know, did a bunch of forming to, that that region there would be under a lot of stress or strain um, when this thing went to be, to be formed. So... There is that new command. It uh, definitely it can be helpful. I can, I've can. i already kind of seen where some cases these holes kind of get a little bit oblonged or, or kind of distorted. So it's not 100% perfect, uh, but it definitely is a, a lot better and come a long way compared to what we've had. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me. And again, thank you for watching.